Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So on March the 2nd, Lightning Mod, who created Items Flow, released this video. So we can see right here, it is loading the payload. He does all of the inserting the USB drive. And now at this point, what it does is automatically it launches items flow. And this is really rather handy because typically what you might do is load gold in 2.3 and then come back and relaunch items flow. And in case you aren't familiar with items flow, I have a video that I will link to that shows you a lot of the different benefits that you kind of get out of that. But you can really kind of think of it as a dashboard replacement for the stock PlayStation 4 main screen. And so Lightning Mods described this saying that it was one payload bin. It works on 5.5 and 9.00 and automatically opens items flow for you. And he said, let me know if this is something you would want in the comments. Obviously, with 166 likes, there was a lot of support for adding this feature in. So fast forward to March the 16th, he said, hey, the items flow launcher payload is now available for 5.05 and 9.00. Says no need to run gold hen, then items flow, just one payload that handles everything for you. And he does have a payload download website that you can take a look at. It looks like you can download this for maybe paying zero dollars. I don't know, I'll give it a quick shot here and we'll hit check out now and view content. And there is the launcher, so we'll hit download there. And there is the launcher and basically there is a payload.bin and there is basically the code in order to run it completely yourself as what was shown in the demo. Now, while this is great in order to download it ourselves, I won't be using this method. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and use a host that's already been updated with this payload. So let's switch over to our PlayStation 4 and let's give this a shot. Okay, so here I am. I am logged in to my PS4 and obviously I'm not jailbroken. We're going to go ahead and First off, you should make sure that you already have Items Flow installed on your PS4 before proceeding. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and go over to the internet browser here. And we're going to go to the address up at the top, which is wolf2022.ir. And we're going to press go here. Okay, it gives us a quick welcome message. And then we're going to take the option right here for PS4 Exploit 900. And do keep in mind, this works with 5.05 .05 and 9.00. And then we're going to come over here to the 900 slash N. So at this point, it is going to need to do the jailbreak. And one other thing while you're waiting, you may want to go ahead and just add a bookmark to get directly back to this page again. Okay, we'll go ahead and insert our USB drive and we'll press OK now. Okay, I'll remove the USB drive. Now, if you go over to tools right here, you will see a item there that says items flow. So now if we go ahead and we click on that payload, we will see all of the magic happen that we just previously saw in that video. So what it will do here is obviously it's starting items flow, but first off we load gold hen version 2.3. And now it's going to go ahead and run this custom home menu launcher. So now we can see we've got all kinds of different options. Again, like, you know, if you just look at the power of this tool by default, you know, you can dump the game, there's save game options, you can uninstall it, you can hide the app, you can change the app name, you can move to USB, etc. Really, it would be nice if we could boot directly into this menu every time our PS4 restarted. That would be really the holy grail of getting this to work. But we don't have that option right now. We will have to run a payload. But anyway, I just wanted to show what that payload looked like and how it worked. Okay, so thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.